Hello, my name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. In this video, we'll show how to create a simplified pinned end support for solid element models. Sometimes you might need to simulate a pinned end on a structural beam, for example. Here's a typical engineer sketch you might see for end conditions on a beam. These endpoints are sometimes called pinned. This configuration is typically called a simply supported beam. Let's review the individual supports. The left end allows rotation as if the pinned point here is a fulcrum, but it will not allow translation vertically or horizontally. The right end also allows rotation at the pinned point and does not allow translation vertically, but unlike the other end, this support allows translation horizontally. These are simplified types of restraints, and you can emulate these conditions using fixtures in simulation. Let's look at one way to do this. But first, here's an important note. The method we're about to show highlights one simplified way to mimic a pinned condition to emulate a simply supported beam. The method produces accurate displacement, shear, and moment results for the structure. However, the stress results are accurate at areas removed from the pinned supports. The reason is that the pinned supports manifest as singularities. That is, the stresses will be too high locally. If the user is interested in accurately capturing stress distributions at the pinned supports, then a much more detailed geometric model must be used. Okay, to continue on, to emulate the pinned simply supported beam restraint, we'll be using split lines and advanced fixtures. Let's define the effective bending length shown by this dimension. We'll use the front plane as a reference plane. It's handy since the DER1 and DER2 directions correspond to the XY directions in the same plane. You'll see this in a moment. We'll put on our first split line. I'll zoom up and sketch a line on this bottom face and add a relation to the end point of the dimension line. Now we'll choose Insert, Curve, Split Line, and Split the Face. Now you can see the edge we'll use for the support is easy to select. Now we'll define a study and work on the left support. I'll choose Advanced Fixtures and verify we have Use Reference Geometry selected. And to click on the edge for the support and the reference geometry, which is the front plane. If we scroll down and look in the translations panel, you can see the first two items are DER1 and DER2 in the reference plane, and the third one is normal to the plane. We'll check all three of these. You can see the arrows showing the restraint directions. The values in the panel all show as zero, meaning the arrows will not allow any translation in any of the three directions. In effect, this acts like a pin or pivot on the structure since we have selected an edge. Now we'll do the other end. Recall we need this end to translate horizontally but not vertically. I'll choose the advanced fixture again. Use reference geometry and we'll select the edge and the same plane as before. I'll isolate the translations panel and try the entries observing the arrows. The first one is horizontal and setting it to zero would restrict horizontal translation. We don't want that so I will unselect the DER1 component. I'll select DER2 and you can see the arrows point vertically and that direction is restricted to zero movement which is good. This third direction is normal to the plane. We don't want the beam moving out of plane so we'll click that too. We run the analysis and animate the displacement plot. You can see here the left end is free to pivot only around the pinned support. However, look at the right support. It is not only allowed to pivot but also translate horizontally or slide as if on rollers just like the intention in the engineering drawing. As shown by this stress plot, you'll have very high stress areas at these pivots, so you should not rely on the stresses locally around the pivots using this technique. In this video, we've shown how to create a simplified pinned end support for solid element models.